When I teach this material, I find there are certain things to say to both kids and parents, and I, I adjust it developmentally um, as a bit of a challenge that are a bit provocative. So one is to really ask kids, who's the boss of your own mind? Who's the boss of you? Like inside your mind especially. Are you actually the boss of your own mind? Or is your mind bossing you around? Or are you letting other people drag your attention this way or that, or make you feel things that you don't really want to feel inside? And hey, if you don't want to be the boss of your own mind, okay. It's a little provocative, right? If you want to let them boss you around and make, make you angry or distract you, okay. On the other hand, if you want to learn how to be the boss of your own mind, there's some really simple things that you can learn to do that are really cool. For example, uh, speaking to autonomy. Because if people don't have regulation of their attention, how can they possibly be autonomous as a five-year-old or a 50-year-old? If you can't regulate your attention, you can't regulate uh, the front end of who you are becoming. There's that classic quote from William James, uh, the education of attention would be the education par excellence. Another element is good old-fashioned self-reliance. It's great to make the world better, including build up important relationships, but sometimes the world falls apart. Sometimes other people disappoint, they don't come through, they move away, they pass away, things change. What we have inside ourselves is what we can ultimately count on, what we have with us when the world falls apart. And if we're going to develop this kind of old school self-reliance, being able to regulate where our attention is resting and then keep it on what's useful to hardwire those inner strengths into your own nervous system is absolutely fundamental to the development of self-reliance.